for your benefit. For your benefit. Just, 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 drop-in group for people who have mental health problems. Uh, today we're celebrating our 30th anniversary of when Contact was formed. We have a special guest, the Duchess of Northumberland, who's coming to join us to judge our competitions. I believe that uh, Contact not only helps uh, people who've got mental health issues, but other people as well, is that right? Uh, other people uh, who just generally have problems, uh, not necessarily mental health problems, but problems dealing with life. Uh, they come to us with uh, benefit problems, uh, they need counselling uh, for one reason or another, uh, all of which our counsellors give free time to. But I believe you also help people who, who uh, care for those who've got... We help with know. carers. We have a carers group who meet on a regular basis. Uh, we have a Unite group which meets on a Friday every other week, which is a social event for anybody who has any problems whatsoever. And how many people do you think that you might have dealt with over the oh, 30 gosh, years? Hundreds, hundreds. And some are still with us, some, are, some go, uh, some move on. Uh, but there's always plenty of people coming. And do you have full-time staff? We only have two full-time staff. Everything else in contact is done by volunteers. Uh, that must be difficult. How do you it's, go about raising funds? Uh, by holding functions and um, we, oh, I should think, what, it's looking for grants, uh, looking for people to help us, uh, having uh, activities where we can raise a little bit of money. Um, anything that can help us to make money. It's difficult to get money to pay for our staff. That's the hardest part. Uh, and what do you think the, the service means to people in Morbeth? It's a lifeline. It's a lifeline to so many people. Some come and are very active and join in all the activities, but uh, a lot of them come and might just sit there all day. That's fine. It's a drop-in centre where people can relax. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Audrey Anderson. I'm the Centre Manager of Contact Mental Health Group here in Morpeth. Um, I've been involved with Contact as a volunteer, office manager and then latterly manager of the centre for about seven or eight years now. Um, Can you tell us a little bit about the sorts of uh, issues that you deal with on a on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, actually, we, we deal with people with enduring mental health problems, um, where a stopgap between statutory services and independent provision of mental health services. Um, we, we deal with people in terms of providing support in any way we can, whether that's just be, making ourselves available for a quiet chat if people are upset. We provide counselling services here at Contact, um, social events and activities and any other so form of support that we can to, to just make people feel that they've got a safe environment to come, that they've got their you know, socialising with people who understand their mental health issues um, and, you know, just as a, an extra provision alongside um, statutory services. What sort of reaction do you get from people? I mean, are, are a lot of people surprised that the service is available? I think so. Um, although, given that we've been in Morpeth for 30 years now, I think still some people aren't aware that they've got a local mental health organisation that's so heavily involved and actually our remit extends to the whole of South of East, South East Northumberland um, so we're a very busy centre, um, the only one in this part of the North East in terms of the sort of service we provide so we get an awful lot of referrals here at Contact but where the, um, where the, the last stop for some people especially if um, they've been discharged from um, statutory services and with all the cutbacks in NHS provision of mental health services they say this is the last 
place available for them really and the only place um, in terms of what we can provide here at Contact.